Good morning, YouTubers. Um, today is May 24th, and it's a Friday, and it's 7.35 in the morning. And I just wanted to share this form that I'm actually using through, um, well, that I created, and I use it for eBay sales purposes. It's to record. And um, I'll post the link below. So if you want to use it, you can. And um, this is... Um, the form okay it's um let me show you how i'm using it okay um i put on the receipt because i actually take my items to um to the post office and the reason i do that is because it actually weighs them uh gives you the time see right here where it says weight three pounds 11 ounces and it tells you when they accepted it and at the time and the tracking number. And also where I dropped it off. Um, so it was on April the 4th at, at 3.38 p.m. Okay. So I just stapled that on there. And um, like I, I put on there, staple United States Postal Service acceptance receipt here. And... Let me go back to this one. You see where it says promo code? If you want to create a promo code for your customer, you can. Uh, like, for example, you can put promo code um, Heartland and discount 20%. And, uh, like, when they use it, you can always come back to the record and check it off that it's been used. That's why I have it. Um but I, I lately in April I haven't had time to uh, give any discounts or add anything, um, so I haven't used it. And then you have it to where, well, I put in a uh, clerk initials and the number or badge ID number if you have more than one um, um, employee or family member that helps you. Okay, this is a date that it was sold. And for the total money paid by buyer, that means the total, not the actual cost of the item uh, that you're selling. So if I'm selling it for $20, uh, but they paid uh, in total, including the shipping, $25.80, that's what I you I put there, $25.80. And then it says actual amount for shipping label. So when I paid for the shipping label, it was $7.71, okay? So I put it there as well. And then the actual amount that I charged the customer was $7.81. So the difference is $0.10. Cents. So I put on their shipping profit. So then um, from the $25.80, uh, I subtract the, what I actually paid for the shipping label, which is $7.71. So that leaves me $18.09 plus the $0.10 cents shipping profit. So that's $18.19. Then for the eBay fees, I check on my eBay and see what the fee was for the final value sell fee, which was $1.65, and the shipping final value fee was $0.71, cents, so that totaled to $2.36. So then I subtract minus $2.36. That gives me $15.83. Okay, now PayPal fee is $1.05, so that's $14.78. So that's what I made from this item that I sold. It's a vintage train case cosmetic luggage. And I bought it actually for $3. Okay. But if you look on the form now, because I updated it, it says, what did you as a seller pay for this item? It's just if you want to uh, keep up with that. And then the shipping, when I shipped it off, was on April the 4th at 3.38 p.m. And that's what I get off the receipt. Uh, acceptance receipt um, and uh, normally I drop off my items daily here at this post office but on this date I dropped it off there okay on this form I actually added the added tracking to parcel track app what that means is uh, I have an app that I add my eBay and offer up sales 
So when I ship them off, I add them to, I add the tracking number to this app called Parcel Track App. And uh, I check it off. So when I get a notification that it was already delivered, I put that it's already delivered. And I check it off and say I already show that's delivered and the date and the time. And of course the item description. Um, so that's what I do. I don't see if you can see it. Just keep in mind that the item number is the actual number that eBay gives you. Uh, so I always print out the packing slip and the actual label. It has a, um, here, let me show you. Is this one? I print, this here is the actual label and then I just cut it in half. And then the packing slip. Because on the packing slip, it says what you charge the customer. And on the, um, which was here in this case, 781. And here, it on the actual label that printed, it says the amount that you paid, 771. Oh, let me show you. That's what I sold. A vintage train case makeup cosmetic luggage. Let me show you the picture. Okay, this is what I sold on April the 4th. Vintage train case makeup cosmetic. And there's the item number. Let's see, $1.65 is the final value fee. And then the shipping value fee. 71 cents. I'm going to click on it so you can see the item. I was selling it for $17.99. That's the item. It had a lot of imperfections. Let's see if you can see it. See? It went out economy. Selling as is. I always put check out my other items and it tells you where the shelf where it was the item was located shelf four box eighteen. I already had it boxed up and ready to be shipped off. And uh it was on May twenty nine, two thousand eighteen when I posted it. And uh I paid three dollars for it. So from the fourteen seventy eight minus the three, so it's eleven dollars and seventy eight cents that I made, minus any overhead uh, and stuff like that. But that's just um, taking out the fees uh, from PayPal, eBay, and uh, if you want to add, I, I, you don't really need to add what you actually paid for. Um, but it's just so you'll know what the actual income is uh, monthly. That's the reason I created this uh, eBay record form. Just to keep track. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye, guys.